Hello everyone. Today we're gonna explain how to uh, have your personal blog uh, as a developer as quickly as possible. So let's go. Let's get started. Okay. The first step is to go to this repository. It's called Sherby Starter. It's the theme that we'll use in our blog. I will leave the link in the description below. Uh, then you have to click on use template and create a new repository. After doing that, an important step is to add your GitHub username .github.io. In my case, my GitHub username is 3os. Then I click on create, create a repository. It will load. And uh, let's leave it loading. It will take like a few seconds. After it finishes loading, the next step is to go to the file called uh, underscore config.yaml and then we can click edit this file and then scroll down to the URL variable and add your username https slash slash your user your github username in my case it's Tremo dot github dot io and then we will commit our changes we can add a commit message like um, adding personal username url whatever it doesn't matter after doing that we can go into the github actions tab we will see that github already uh, is doing automatically uh, build and deploying the our uh, 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 blog into the GitHub pages, which is hosted for free on it. So we'll see like the build stages loading. It will take a couple of seconds. So as we see, it's building the site right now. So the build is now complete. The next step is to the deployment step. It's loading right now. So that's like what is good about this method. We don't have like to pay anything. It's hosted for free on GitHub pages. Let's go back. So now the build and deploy steps are both completed. You can go and visit. Uh, that's an old one. Uh, I, I was trying to do it before the video. So uh, after doing this step, you should see like the template uh, uh, ready. Here is like the link to it, the username.github.io. You will see that you will find categories, tags, archives. And the best thing about this template is it has like a dark theme as you see and you can switch it if you don't like it you'll get like links to your github uh, so it's, it's pretty neat uh, template i would say so now we have like your personal blog you need to customize it so the next step is to clone the repository locally so to do that we'll go into code uh, and copy the link and in a personal uh, directory uh, so in my case, I will save it into a YouTube folder. And right here, you should have like get bash installed in your system. If not, you can search for it. It is an easy step. And you should do get clone, get bash still loading. And then you add the link that you copied from the GitHub repository. It, it is saying it's cloning right now. After cloning, you can cd into the repository and open it using uh, VS Code so that we can make changes uh, locally. So now we have the repository downloaded um, uh, locally. The uh, uh, prerequisite step is to have uh, Ruby and jQuery that we're using to build our website installed on your machine 
Uh, so to do that, I will leave the link for description for the installation guide. Uh, you can check it below, but simply it's just you choose your operating system. Uh, uh, in my case, it's Windows. And then you will find like a description, a detailed, uh, a detailed description about uh, what are the steps needed. For example, here you need to go to the Ruby installer and install uh, install the installer. In my case, I already have it, so I don't need to download it again. So just let, let's just cancel the download. Okay. So after installing and following like these instructions, just be careful that you follow these instructions carefully. You will do Jekyll V and uh, it should like return a version for Jekyll. After doing this step, go back into your repository. Um, you can do a, a command bundle to install the dependencies needed for uh, your uh, project, or in this case, your blog. In my case, I've already run this uh, command before, so it will be quick. Uh, in your case, if you don't have like Ruby and Jekyll installed, it will take some time. In my case, it took about 30 minutes. So just be patient with that. And when it finishes, it is just like normal. So as you see now, it's uh, uh, installing the dependencies for the project. The next command is to run bundle, execute Jekyll S or serve. And this command builds your so uh, it builds your projects and um, run it locally uh, on your machine. So it's doing that right now. Uh, meanwhile, uh, you can go into the config file uh, while it's uh, building. And you can scroll and see what are the configurations that you can do to customize your the blog to, to fit your purpose. So in our case here, we can change the title. Uh, for me, it's my name. It will be my name, Ahmed Tremo. The tagline you can add. For me, it's my personal blog. Description. You can say blog, your name, uh, GitHub, whatever. I think that this field like, helps in uh, uh, people finding your um, blog uh, using Google search. So let's take a look. It's it's now built and uh, served on this link. So you can control and click on the browser, on the link to see the browser. So as you see, like it's the same template that we saw before. It's running locally now. So let's customize it to our needs. Uh, so I added the title, the tagline. Then you can add like your GitHub username, the, your Twitter, whatever. And it will link it, uh, if you see here, these links will be populated with what you fill in the config file. Uh, one thing more I want to add is uh, the avatar. Um, you can scroll down and or you can search for it. Avatar. And then in my case, I want to add like my uh, Twitter uh, profile picture. So I will go into Twitter, click on my profile picture, right click, and uh, choose copy image link and paste it in the avatar. So in this case, like every time I will change my uh, personal image on Twitter, it will update directly into the blog. So let's save. Uh, something that I found like there is, I think, an error uh, or a bug. Uh, there is like a temporary file that keeps like uh, uh, refreshing the page. So to um, to navigate that, I, I searched online and I found like a solution. And uh, this code snippet, uh, I will also link it in the description. I will put my GitHub blog uh, link in the, if you want to reference it for anything in the in the description, and you can see this uh, snippet in it. So in our case right here. We will name that uh, go into plugins, name a file watcher patch 
or B and paste the code snippet and you can find it as I mentioned in, in my GitHub repo. Then we can stop the server just to refresh and we can uh, serve it again to uh, get these updates. Um, so let's go back into the browser and go into our local server and refresh. I think uh, it's still loading, so we might not get the uh, it's still loading. So as I mentioned, <laughs> um, after like uh, customizing the config, you can scroll into this config. You will find different uh, variables get, that you can use. And uh, it's still loading. Um, Uh, yeah, as I mentioned, config uh, file. Uh, what we'll do next is we we will add like our uh, our first post, um, so that we can uh, like write blogs and uh, see see what will happen there. So it's running now. We can go back into our local server and refresh. So as you see now, it's customized with the fields that we uh, added into the config. So let's add uh, our first blog or first post. And be careful here because uh, the post need a specific customized um, uh, name. So in, in our case, it has to be the, uh, the date. In my case, it's uh, 3rd of June. And then slash the name of the post. In our case, that we just will do a, a dummy hello world a post. And then we will have to add uh, some metadata about the post, like the title. I'm using GitHub uh, GitHub Copilot, so that's why you can see it's already auto completing. So you you add the date, the categories of the post, the tag, and then you close out the metadata. And then let's just add a header, hello world, and say, hello world, this is my personal blog. That That's it. And then let's click save and go back into our local and click refresh. As you see, we can now see our personal post. Uh, so the next step, uh, um, is to we want to push uh, our changes into uh, the GitHub profile so that we can see it uh, uh, on the GitHub pages server. So let's open a new terminal. We will add all the changes that we made and then add a commit message, maybe like customizing my personal blog. And then we will push the changes back to the GitHub repository. And um, yourself, you can like navigate, like there is like some helpful things about this theme. I will also see, I would also keep the the guide for this theme in the description so that you can, if you want to explore more on your own. So now our changes are pushed into our uh, GitHub repository, so we can go back into it and click refresh. Go into actions. It is building and deploying our uh, page right now. So the build stage is completed. The next is the deploy uh, stage. Okay, now we can go to our GitHub page and click refresh. And here it is, you can see the post is already on the uh, uh, blog. You can see here it is the post, there are categories, tags, archives, 
the same is like really good. I really like it. So then the bonus tip for you who stayed like uh, this long in the video is uh, that uh, if we want to link our GitHub uh, pages uh, website into our own domain, uh, you will have to buy a domain. But in my case, I bought it for $10 for two years from GoDaddy. And I will show you my DNS settings on GoDaddy. So what you'll have is to add four key values uh, uh, called an A type. This basically um, uh, points uh, GoDaddy into the GitHub uh, DNS so that it can reflect directly. And these values you can copy and paste. Then uh, you will have a C name. This links you will add here your username.github.io. Next, you will have to go into your settings, your GitHub repo settings, and then into pages and add your custom domain right here. So in my case, it was ahmedremo.com. And here is like my real prog that I've been using. It's called ahmedremo. Uh, I, I, I actually, uh, my first blog was about how to create a blog and you can check it out. I will leave a link in, in, for it in the description. You can add about page. So it's uh, really, really uh, a nice uh, theme and a nice blog. So that was it. I hope you, you had uh, like some benefit from this video. Uh, thank you and see you in the next video.